Hi, my name is Nicola from My Inner Creative, and today we're going to be going through a whole process of creating autumn plan with me's for my April spread. Let's get started. Woo! Am I excited? And I want to introduce you to my new office setup. Um, I got this absolutely stunning table and this stunning table and these bookshelves and all of this decoration. I got this from the warehouse stationery. Now, if you live in New Zealand, you know that there are pretty much two or three um, places you can get stationery from. And in New Zealand, we do quite often seem to be pretty limited with regards to what we get into the country. And I was lucky enough to collaborate with Warehouse Stationery and I got a ton of fun new stuff that I am so excited to show you today. And we're gonna be focusing quite heavily on self-care and mental well-being and all of those really fantastic things, especially as we start coming into autumn where we start getting all snuggly and warm and we wanna start thinking of those really kind of positive feely vibes as we head into winter because in New Zealand and especially in Wellington winter is wet and rainy and cold all six months of it so rainy so cold so dark so dark but on the upside on the other end of it is spring but we're going to be focusing on autumn and I'm going to be using um, my traveler's notebook that I got from warehouse stationery as well and inside what I've done is I have used one of my notebooks, the one with dot grids, to create my month of April bullet journal spread so that I can use this for the month of April and make it really creative and make it feel really more autumny and vibey rather than feeling a bit drearier as we head into winter. My birthday is in autumn and in April, so I really wanted to make it all my favorite colors as well. So I chose a beautiful theme of kind of minty, pastel-y greens and uh, some really beautiful pastel pinks as well, some rose colors. And I matched it up. I was really lucky as well that it just happened that at this time of year, um, Warehouse Stationery released a beautiful new range um, and I was really excited to use it. So let's get started. I'm going to show you all of the things that we got and all of the things that I used in this journal making process. I may split it up over a couple of, uh, over a couple of spaces just so that you can keep up and really looking forward to doing this session with you. Okay, ordering online is super duper easy and the box arrived in super quick time. When I unpacked it, it had everything I needed to get this project underway. So the first thing we're going to be making today in my notebook and journal is this beautiful hello page. Now, this is going to take you some time, so don't fret. It's one of those that you can pick away at during the week. Now, what I used was my traveler's notebook as well as some craft paper in brown, orange, yellows, and greens. I first made sure that I had the shape I wanted for April, and to do that, I measured up what size I would need for the front of my notebook. I really loved these notebook pages because they were beautifully sized and it just makes it really simple to carry around with you as well. So let's get started on sizing up what we need for the notebook. First I sketched out the April word with pencil. I then made sure it went back and did it in with a ruler so that it was nice and straight and then used my X-Acto knife to cut around all the letters. This gave me a really great uh, kind of black blank imprint and I put this over a darker brown piece of cardboard really to represent and give a bit of texture to that autumn feel.
I sketched out the little leaves that I was going to cut. Now a top tip that I learned from Bonnie over at Archie and Olive was cut out the small details first and then the larger details afterwards. Now you can see that this took quite a wee bit of time so take your time to do this and I cut out all different colors to be able to make the leaves. Now that I have a ton of leaves ready, I'm going to start inserting them into my little April spread so that I can kind of create a really warm feel. What I'm using here is a little bit of clear glue and I'm going to dip the tips of the leaves that I'm gonna stick into the April spread into the bottom and then I'm going to kind of insert them into the stencil that I've created. As we finish up, we are going to add a little bit of a gold acrylic pen down at the bottom just to welcome in hello with a uh, welcome in April with a little hello. Here I'm going to create a little memory keeping page and just to remind me of the snuggliness that autumn brings. I'm using my HP Sprocket to print out a little picture and I'm going to use my secret garden collection of washi tapes and some of the fantastic die cuts that they have for this range to be able to create a, this little memory keeping page. I'm also going to mix in some of the little leaves that I cut out earlier and I'm going to kind of combine them all together to create a really cute and fun page that is kind of opening up my April to remembering how snuggly it is. Right, and on to our first quote page. This was really simple to do. I just used a little bit of the Secret Garden washi tape and a die cut and then added my quote in. Very excited to have this and on to our monthly calendar. So once I had kind of measured up the monthly calendar, I wanted to go through and use my gouache kind of paints to be able to create a really nice texture on the page. It was the first time I was using gouache and I really wanted a nice pinky color that matched the pastel pink on the Secret Garden range. So I added white, crimson and a little splash of orange just to create that really pastely soft pink.
once I added some embellishments and some strips of paper down the side, also from the Secret Garden range, I added in the April wording where I used the April um, from the gold chipboard stickers and put them on some of the pink paint and then stuck it in. This made a really cute effect at the top and it was really simple to do. And onto my most important page for this month, my self-care and habits page. I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself. And here I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers uh, cutter, which kind of created a perforated look on the habits page, um, on the little piece of paper that I used. It kind of created a sewing effect. I then added some more gouache onto the page to be able to write over and kind of frame up what it was that I was going to do. I divided my self-care into physical and mental and then used some of the leftover gouache just to add a little bit of flowers on the parts of my habits that I really wanted to laser focus in on for the month. For my gratitude page, I really wanted to remind myself every day of the month that there were beautiful things in the world. Not because I don't already believe there are beautiful things, but I really wanted to write down and catalog some of those beautiful things. Gratitude is also known as something that really rises or raises up your mental health and well-being, so I really liked that idea and added all the extra gouache that I had onto the page to kind of create a really nice texture around the torn pieces of paper. I added all the days of the month and then added in the gratitude in gold acrylic pen again. Now what's funny is I realized that I put a T across the L, which I wasn't supposed to do. So I ended up going back and just making the L a little bit thicker to hide the fact that I'd put a T over the cross, uh, over the top. Now I just wanted to point out that this is something that happens to all of us. You know, we spell February wrong, we do a whole bunch of things in our notebooks or journals where we make mistakes. But you know what, it's so important to just accept that we've made mistakes and kind of move on. It's not a big deal and it's our own own notebooks. This was another really, really easy to do spread. I just tore some paper into the corners of the parts of my traveler's notebook and used a pen to highlight in what days of the week I needed. I used the stamps from Warehouse Stationery to be able to just kind of put in Monday through to weekend and then added a little section for notes and we were good to go. I had some leftover gouache so I decided that I was going to make an even simpler page than the one before by just using some of the gouache and putting it into my notebook and adding the days of the week. I added a flip piece of card in the corner just with a little bit of washi and some matching paper from the Secret Garden collection and then added notes on the top making this a really simple page for literally anyone to do. 
decided to layer my paper. So I chose a really beautiful sparkly gold paper down the bottom and then layered it over with some of the planar papers that came from that Secret Garden collection using the kind of minty soft pastel green and the pink. I really liked the effect that this created and it was just really easy to do. Going into a slightly more complex uh, kind of weekly spread, while it looks complex, it's actually really not. I just cut out squares of craft paper and then any of the leftover cutouts that I had from the very first page, I kind of stuck behind the little craft papers in exactly the same way that I did for the Welcome to April page. Finally, to finish this off, I used the stamps to be able to just put the days of the week over the top of all of the um, little cards that I had cut out and I'd easily be able to put in my tasks and activities for the week. Another super crazy easy one to do, I just stuck in a page of the craft paper from the Secret Garden collection. I added notes and then just used a colored pen to be able to highlight which days of the week it was. I kept this really simple but I think the effect looked really beautiful. Here I'm using a ton of gouache just to create a notes page. I wanted to create something that was a little bit more textured and layered and I also wanted to get the hang of using a bit more gouache. So here I'm using that beautiful kind of pastel pink color that we made and just spreading it across the page as much as possible. I'm then using the green cardstock from the Secret Garden collection and then popping it over the top. I'm trimming the edges and then adding the word notes to the top. Finally, for the last part of this project, we're using a cute little quotes page. And this time, again, using the craft paper from the Secret Garden collection, I'm cutting out Be a Wildflower. I'm just trimming it up and making it really lovely. And I'm using the twine that matches this particular, um, this particular kind of uh, vibe, um, which is a nice pink. And they've also got a yellow twine as well and a beautiful green that matches the green in this collection. I'm just kind of threading it through the page haphazardly by poking a hole in the page and threading through the thick uh, twine and then sticking over the quotes page, adding a little embellishment on the other side with die cuts and we are finished for the month of April. Thanks for watching. You can find us anywhere on the interwebs, but specifically you can find us at www.myinnercreative.com. Feel free to tag us on Instagram. We would love to share your work and your recreations of this project. See you next time.